the PD-14, its derivative PD-8, and the internationally developed SAM-146 are three of the most intriguing case studies in aerospace engineering that represent the development of modern aircraft engines in Russia. Different challenges in the development of modern aero engines are illustrated by each program, ranging from technical obstacles to the intricacies of international collaboration. The PD-14 is the most recent success in the development of commercial aircraft engines in Russia, and it was mainly designed for the MC-21 airliner. This engine is the technological foundation for the PD-8 program and represents Russia's return to the production of exclusively domestic engines for commercial airliners. The program has successfully completed certification and entered service, thereby establishing a new technological foundation for Russian engine manufacturing and demonstrating the ability to manufacture competitive modern turbofan engines. Derived from the PD-14, the PD-8 is an attempt to reduce the size of successful technology for smaller aircraft applications, notably the SSJ new aircraft. The technical challenges the development process faced mainly centered on the complexity of scaling down PD-14 technology and meeting specified thrust-to-weight requirements. These challenges have been significant. The certification process has been exceedingly challenging, needing a demonstration of reliability that is comparable to that of Western counterparts while operating under shorter deadlines. Adapting PD-14 technologies to a reduced scale, developing domestic components, and meeting stringent performance targets have been the complex tasks that the program has had to address. In contrast, the SAM-146, which was created through a partnership between Saturn of Russia and Safran of France, represents a distinct approach to engine development that presents its own set of obstacles. The program encountered substantial structural challenges as a result of its organizational complexity. The division of responsibilities between Russian and French partners necessitated intricate coordination, which led to increased development and production costs. The program was further complicated by market issues, which resulted in higher per unit costs that impacted commercial viability. This was due to the limited production numbers that were a result of the SSJ-100 aircraft's sole application. Particularly evident were the technical challenges encountered by the SAM M146 in its heated section, where turbine blade durability and coating degradation were problematic. Poor cooling system performance resulted in maintenance requirements that exceeded expectations. Heating and cooling caused additional stress on components, which resulted in operational challenges during cold weather performance. Overall durability was also influenced by environmental factors. The maintenance frequency was higher than anticipated due to the support and maintenance structure, which was significantly reliant on an international supply chain and foreign components. Clear distinctions in the development approaches of these programs are evident when comparing them. The PD-14 and PD-8 program are a wholly domestic development initiative that emphasizes technological independence and an evolutionary design approach. In contrast, the SAM-146 is a prime example of international collaboration as it shares technology and expertise. However, this collaboration was accompanied by inherent dependencies on foreign partners. Additionally, the technical obstacles encountered by these programs differ considerably. The PD-8's challenges were predominantly identified during the development and certification phases, with a focus on scaling issues resulting from the larger design and the need to meet new requirements. Nevertheless, the SAM-146 encountered its most significant issues during in-service operations, particularly in the areas of heated section durability and maintenance complications. The diverse experiences of these engine programs offer valuable insights into the intricacy of contemporary aircraft engine development. The PD-14's success as a foundation for future development, the PD-8's challenges in scaling and certification, and the SAM-146's operational and support issues all provide a deeper understanding of the factors that influence the successful execution of engine programs. These experiences underscore the significance of incorporating not only technical aspects, but also operational, maintenance, and support requirements into the planning of engine programs. The trajectory of Russian aerospace development is still being influenced by the lessons learned from these programs, 
which underscore the potential and challenges of various approaches to the development of modern aircraft engines. The multifaceted nature of successful engine development and the significance of comprehensive program planning that addresses both technical and operational considerations are demonstrated by the experiences of these programs, regardless of whether they are pursuing domestic capability development or international collaboration. Now, do you think building a smaller turbojet is more challenging than a medium or large engine? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership of our channel to encourage us.